Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video to Studio and today a quick video to share with you a free sample from our Dimension and Scale Pack. So if you're ready, let's check it out. Alright, so you can download the title by clicking the link in the description below. You will get this zip file, just double click on it to unzip it. It will give you this folder, just double click on it and you will get the license, the installation instruction, the GRFX file and the font. Please make sure to install all the font, otherwise the sample will not work. So select everything and then you can just double click on it to install the font. Then once that's done, you can just select the DRFX file and double click on it to start the installation process. So right now it's already installed. I'm just going to overwrite it, uh, but just select install. Then once in damage is resolved, you can go over to effect, titles, video to studio. And then here you can just crawl all the way down to sample and here you will find the dimension pack sample. You can then just take it and drag it here above your clip. You can extend or reduce the title. Here in the inspector, you also have a bunch of stuff that you can adjust. First off, you can adjust the animation length of the title. So right now by default, it's one second and a half, but if we want, we can just increase the speed. Let's say half a second instead. And as you can see, the animation is a lot faster. Those change we also applied to the animation out right there. Here with the in and out, you can also adjust the type of the animation curve. And then here you can adjust the width of the dimension title. At any moment, if you want to reset it to default, you can just double click on it to reset to default. Let me extend the inspector so we can see a bit more what we're doing. Here, the first thing we have access to is the size and position, so you can adjust position of the title let's center it a little more or we could increase the size as well so right now we're just gonna leave it like that then we have the line control so here we can increase size of the dots or just reduce it to the minimum then here we have dot spacing so if you just reduce that to zero instead of being a dotted line it will just be a straight line so right now we're just gonna leave it at two you can also change the color of the dots. So let's say, for example, right now we want to have them blue. Could just do that right there. We have control over the line edge right here. So we can adjust by removing completely uh, the edge of the line. We can adjust the border width of that line and we can adjust the height as well. Same as per you see, you also have uh, the control over the color. And then on the next dropdown, we have access to the text control. So right now it's 23 millimeter but you can just put any value you'd like here. Uh, for example, here, we're just gonna go with three meter instead, um, and that will be just all good. Let's say you want to have like a bigger distance. So we're gonna go with, let's say we want to have a 300 meter, and here, as you can see, it doesn't fit. So we can adjust right there the text mask, and we'll make basically the space for the text to appear properly. You also have access to the usual control with the phone, the color, the size, tracking, etc. And then as per usual with most of the title, you have control over the shadow. So here you can increase the shadow strength or completely remove it. And you can adjust the drop distance, the blur, the color, etc. And then same thing for the glow. You can just here increase the gain and you will have a glowing title. And last one is the background. So here by default, it's not activated, but you can just here increase the opacity and having that background that can help your title stand out. One last tip right now, as you can see, the title is straight, but let's say you want to show the measurement on something that is going diagonally. You can always go over to OpenFX, then here search for transform and bring a transform effect on the title. And it will just here bring you a bunch of different parameters that you can adjust to adjust the perspective of that line. Then here you can just switch to open FX overlay and here switch from slider to canvas or to pins. And that will just allow you here to move the perspective of your title. So you can just play around with that and make the title just fit the direction of the line. So you can just play around with that and uh, make the title fit like the line that you want. An easy way to do that would be also to use the interactive pin. And then here you can just use the corner and place that wherever uh, it's needed. Here we go. Uh, and it just like make it a lot easier to manipulate the line and put it wherever it needs to be. And that's pretty much it. How this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in a comment what kind of video you like to see next. And see you in the next one. Bye.
speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contain over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.